What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDR, another Dell Optiplex 780. This is the small phone factor. They're gonna be a CPU upgrade. So I'm gonna switch it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and move the side cover panel. So we'll watch you press like this. Comes out. So you need a flat head, you will actually need a Phillips head screwdriver. So what we'll do is remove the optical drive here. You press this up the tab. And there's one screw here in the left, one on the right. You just will need a paper towel and using a 91% rubbing alcohol. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wipe down the old thermal compound from the heat sink. And same with the CPU. Now you're going to take again rubbing alcohol, apply it to the napkin. And that's good enough. And guys, I'll be upgrading the, the CPU. It's an Intel Core 2 Quad, the Q8400 running at clock speed at 2.66 gigahertz. Got the front side bus of 1333 megahertz. And I'll put in description. So you can zoom in, probably not. Uh, they sell it used online around $9, $10 you can get with free shipping. But if you buy them as a lot, you get them a lot cheaper. So let me go and see, put this tab back on here. It looks like I can't remove it until I remove the up. It looks like the hard drive have to be removed. I'm going to remove that and see. If this tab doesn't come out, let's see. So, okay. And the way you're going to install it, you see there's a corner, cut corner here in the left and right, and it will be facing that way. So don't forget. Now what I'll do is I'm going to take a thermal compound. I'm just going to apply it right in the middle where the CPU is. Now I'm going to install back the heatsink CPU cooler. I'll do like that, like this. It looks like that you do have to remove the this plastic hard drive caddy that's connected here before you move the CPU.
and I did replace the CMOS battery it's underneath our, it's, I have another video you guys can watch it if you guys just bought a used one like this then you just have to also replace the CMOS battery and I'm just gonna put the side panel back on and don't forget the, uh, the BIOS you can also update the BIOS on it so you guys be end of the video thanks for watching bye